Chapter 10, Learning Objective 5. Calculate and explain the book value per share ratio. The book value of a share is the amount of net assets represented by one share. When referring to common shares, book value represents the amount of net assets not claimed by creditors and preferred shareholders. When referring to preferred shares, book value represents the amount that preferred shareholders would receive if the corporation were liquidated. The formula for the book value per preferred share is the paid-in capital for preferred shares, plus dividends and arrears, divided by the number of preferred shares outstanding. The book value per common share is equal to the total equity, less the paid-in capital for preferred shares, plus dividends and arrears, divided by the number of common shares outstanding. Essentially, the numerator for the book value per common share is the total equity less the numerator of the book value per preferred share calculation. Here's the data for an example that shows the equity section of a company's balance sheet, which we can use to illustrate the calculation of book value per share. Contributed capital is comprised of preferred shares and common shares. For preferred shares, there are 5,000 shares authorized, 1,000 shares issued and outstanding with paid-in capital of $10,000. For common shares, 200,000 shares have been authorized, and 60,000 shares are issued and outstanding, with paid-in capital of $20,000. Total contributed capital, then, is $30,000. Retained earnings is $105,000, and total equity is $135,000. Let's start with the calculation of book value for preferred shares first. This example includes $5,000 of dividends in arrears which we add to the paid-in capital balance of $10,000 for a total of $15,000. We then divide by the 1,000 outstanding shares to end up with a book value per preferred share of $15. For common shares, the total equity is $135,000, and we deduct the preferred shareholders' claims of $15,000, which we just calculated. Again, this consists of the preferred share dividends in arrears plus the paid-in preferred share capital. The balance of equity available to the common shareholders, then, is $120,000, which we divide by the 60,000 outstanding shares, to end up with a book value per common share of $2. Comparison of book value with market value provides insight into investors' evaluations of the corporation. For instance, if the book value of one common share of Corporation A is $20, and its common shares are traded on a public stock exchange for $40 per share, the market value, Corporation A is said to be trading for 2 times book value. If Corporation B is trading for 3 times book value, investors are indicating that the future profit prospects for Corporation B are higher than those for Corporation A. Thus, they are willing to pay proportionately more for shares of Corporation B than Corporation A, relative to the underlying book values. Finally, some shares regularly sell for less than their book value on various stock exchanges. This does not necessarily mean they are a bargain investment, since the market price of a share is related to any number of factors, including the general economic outlook and perceived potential of the company to generate earnings.